In this example, we are going to integrate the square root of the tangent of x times the secant squared of x solution. So a u substitution seems like something that is worth trying. And typically when you're looking to make a substitution, u is typically your inside piece. So in this case, uh, letting u be the tangent function is a really good first attempt. So if we let u be equal to the tangent of x, then du, taking the derivative of both sides, well, the derivative of tangent is secant squared, so this will be secant squared x, and then we have our dx here. All right, and that's exactly what we have here, right? Secant squared x dx. So it works out really nicely in this problem. Um, so despite it looking a little bit intimidating, it's actually very, very easy. This becomes the integral of. So it's the square root of tan x, so it's just gonna be the square root of u, right, replacing u with tan x. And this whole piece here is just du, so a really, really clean problem, so du. So this is equal to. So to integrate this, we want to write it as u to a power, so we can apply the power rule. This will be the integral of u, and the square root of u is really u to the one half, du. If you ever forget, there's a number here and there's a number here. The two is implied and it's always this number over this number, okay? It's always this one over this one. Now we can integrate using the power rule, which basically says we add one to the exponent and divide by the result. So one half plus one is three halves, right? Because it's one half plus one, which is one half plus two halves, which is three halves, boom. So this is gonna be u, to the three halves, and then you divide by three halves. Uh, but instead of dividing by three halves, we can multiply by the reciprocal, same thing, and then plus c. Almost done. We have to go back to uh, our original variable, which was x. So this is equal to two thirds tangent of x to the three halves plus c. And you could leave it like this, or you could write it uh, using the shorthand notation that people often use for trig functions. It's two thirds tangent, and then you can put the exponent here, three halves like this, and then an x, and then plus c. I don't really think it matters too much.